Not every scan that you create within our tech studio is going to be perfect. There are going to be instances where you might have some bad scans and there are some ways to edit. We're not all just scanning these little sumo characters after all. So I have this face scan that I did with the spider and I made sure that while I was scanning, I moved my face. So when I, this is after global, after global registration, um, when you run global on a scan where something shifted or maybe you just had some, uh, a few frames that had hardly any data in it at all, um, you'll get some either really poor quality frames or you might even get some warnings like you can see right here in the max error column. Um, again, this is after running global registration. So I'm gonna show you how to fix this warning here. So I can come in and double click my scan. I actually, if you notice, I deselected all my other scans. In this case, I only have two, but I like to work on one scan at a time. I'm gonna double click on that scan and I'm gonna come in and you can sort by the max error field. And you just toggle through till you see your failed frames at the top. And I can just click on this top failed frame, hold shift, click on the top or the bottom failed frame and hit delete. And as far as the number of failed frames goes, that, that wasn't too bad. Uh, if half my scan or a third or even a quarter of my scan is failed frames, uh, you might reconsider rescanning, maybe secure your object a little better, properly treat the surface. Um, you know, properly prep the model for proper tracking, that sort of thing, so you get better scan data. But if you have a couple failed frames, not really a big deal, you can just remove them. So now that I've removed those failed frames, I'm gonna go back out here, and notice my max error, instead of saying warning, it actually has a number, which is 0.5. That's still not great, so that's the second uh, issue that we can address here, is maybe a poor, uh, poor max error quality number. If I double click on that, I'm going to sort by max error. So I have my highest or worst number at the top. And it looks like, now this is a spider scan. Ideally, I would want 0.1. So I could come in, select my worst, and scroll down till I see where the 0.1s are, which is way down here. If I delete all of this, I'm deleting most of my scan. So in this case, I would want to go back and rescan. Um, but if I can't for some reason, 0.2 is not terrible. Even 0.3 is not bad. Or it, it's not, it's, <laughs> it's not ideal, but it's not terrible. Um, I could leave the 0.3s, but say I wanted a, a max error of 0.2 so I could run my fusions and stuff at 0.2. I could just delete everything down to the last 0.3 and my quality or my error, max error field is now 0.2. Something else you can do is come in here. I'm gonna look at this other one which had a quality of, or a max error of, of two. I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna select all the way down to 0.1. And again, this is a little more than half my scan. So I'd probably wanna go back and rescan. But something else you can do in addition to deleting, let's say these weren't all just terrible quality. Maybe you had some strange alignment issue. And everything from need to resort that. Everything from here to here was aligned fine. And then everything from here to here was also aligned fine, but the alignments differed between these two sections, right? I could actually move these to a new scan like that. So I just selected them, right clicked and said move to new scan instead of deleting. I can back out here. And now I've split that scan up into two scans. And I can do, I can now perform alignment functions on these. A specific case for, for doing something like this would be if you were doing a body scan and uh, maybe somebody had their head pointed off to the left for the start of the scan. And then somewhere in the middle of that scan, they move their head over to the right. You could split out, you could split out those two different positions and then use um, some of their other alignment tools to fix that. But you would of course have to split those frames first. So being able to edit is really nice. Again, be careful with how much you delete and how much you move because you can actually break your scans um, and you'd have to end up rescanning anyway after that. But those are, are the basics 
of editing poor frames and failed frames in Artec Studio.